Hi guys, welcome back to the studio. Thank you for hanging out here with me. Today, we're gonna bid farewell to this little fella here. You've seen him in my videos and he has been with me for the last, I'm thinking, three and a half years. Well, you know, over time, the material here is flaking off and it's causing a lot of woe when it comes to cleaning up especially in my bag because I, I would find all these scrapes of material at the bottom of my bag so guys guess what I was in town the other day passed by the Smeagol shop and I think I found a replacement <laughs> and it was on sale so I got it and uh, what we're gonna do in this session is we're gonna transfer all the stuff that I have currently in here into the new one. Yeah, very quickly. This is the new Smeagol stationery case that I got. <laughs> yeah, it looks, it's, it's definitely my time and space travel kit. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start replacing all the stuff that I have in here. Yeah, it's exactly the same thing. So this is how the current system of storage looks like. Here we go. Actually, I'm gonna replace this. It's kind of old. So what this is, is my um, ink bottle. And I store it with water-based ink so that my pen, my fountain pen doesn't clog up. So this is my must-have when I go out to sketch. These are my watercolors. I use White Nights. And the thing with Cerulean Blue is that it's humid in Singapore, so it melts. It just takes so much time to clean up the mess. So I found a replacement. Mm, it's Daniel Smith's Cerulean Blue. And this is in a stick format, this watercolor. So that's the only thing that's Daniel Smith. Everything else here is White Knights. So let's see if it fits in here. <laughs> yeah, it does. It should. So this one will sit in here like so. Perfect. And I have um, eraser just in case. A um, little extra pen with uh, putty. Some, uh, some of us here call it blue tack or white tack. Um, in case I need to prop something for a photo shoot. Um, yeah, so I, I would slot it somewhere in here. And a bottle cap for uh, water in case my pen gets dry, too dry. Actually, there's a little dent in here and I think it'll fit in very nicely in there. I'm keeping this really flat. Let's begin with this. It's a Tintoretto Kolinsky. And uh, it's a size uh, 12. These are for big areas. I seldom use this. I'm gonna put it right here. I have two brushes. Um, just a big and a small. That's it, you know. For the some of you that want to do a size comparison, this is it. These are really handy. So this being shorter, I'm gonna leave it here. Because now, this is like a full quadrangle or square. This one kind of tapers in. So I just have to remember that. Mm, next would be my uh, Pentel brush pen. And we know why I carry that. Those are for large areas. I think that this pen is really tall, so I'm gonna put it right in the middle. Oh, there we go. And of course, um, my Jinhao Fude nib pen. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it here for now. It's gonna evolve. And of course, I have this mechanical pencil 2mm um, this allows me to do light pencil sketches if I'm planning to do watercolor so it goes over here the, these are the things that I use all the time and, and that's it I don't need anything else you know to make my art oh, oh yeah I have a little um, stirrer I took this from Emirates if you're interested you can check it out on the clip over here uh, it's a tomato juice stirrer. It, it may come in handy. Um, you never know. This too. Um, so I, I took up my old animation pencil kit and I threw it in the wash 
and I think this is where I'll store these just to have it um, all neat and organized and I'll probably have to carry this alongside now you know it's it's gonna be secondary to this this is always primary you know and and this would be like number two if I really want to add colors so these would be for my upcoming trips I'm really looking forward to that <laughs> and the colors are all color coordinated you'll see why in the coming videos yeah this one is from uh, typo it's also from Australia just like Smeagol and yep I used to store my pencils in here for animation school there we go okay so finally uh, we have scraps tissue paper kitchen roll etc oh yes this is my backup watercolor Viviva they're super vivid and transparent at the same time so there are 16 colors in here if you're interested you can uh, check out this uh, clip over here that I made for more information on this product wet napkin just in case so why do I carry this thing over here a postcard of uh, one of my old works well basically you know I, I used to carry postcards watercolor postcards and I used to send them off to friends these watercolor blocks they are all glued on the side so they, they, they are sturdy when you paint and to uh, peel them off you actually have to slice them through and I found that just by using this instead of using a pocket knife and you know by the way pocket knives when you travel it's it's always an issue so just by using this to cut it's easy and straightforward I think I'm gonna discard this yeah I feel like a Marie Kondo over here we all know what this is for you've seen this um, it's a backup water storage holder in case I forget to bring my water container and that is super absorbent kitchen roll for a really big mess and I've not used it so far so, you know when I travel I love to put these stickies they're from the tiger store flying tiger store uh, that's one of my favorite shops in in Europe I think they have one in Japan at some point it should get to Singapore so I, I do decorate my sketchbook with these things they're fun to have and I also have a little speech bubble sticker or post-it note here um, I'll, I'll figure out if I want to put it in there so let's see if it fits yeah and uh, that uh, that backup and uh, these are all backups here. Yeah. Oh yeah, so this I'm gonna I'm gonna place like back here. Oh perfect. Perfect. Yeah, napkins. You can never ever go wrong with more napkins. Only thing is that it takes up more space. Let's see if I can spread this out. So this can be folded this way. Mm, perfect. It really depends where I am. I may put a pencil colored brush. So guys, we bid farewell to this. Thank you for serving me for the last three and a half years. You did really well. I like these because they're just cute and sturdy and really compact. So as you can see, I don't carry a lot of materials. I just carry one of each. I know that it would work and if it doesn't, hey, I'll find something else. It's just that I do have other things that I'm carrying also. So I tend to keep my urban sketching tool kit really, really light. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. So once again, I, I got this because it was just so cute and the possibilities, especially with this YouTube video, just, just the, the, the possibilities of getting really creative with something like that for the videos that I put up and to be able to experience those things at first hand, remember to subscribe and after you subscribe, remember to hit that bell.
So you know when I put out one of these creative videos, this, this is T, this is Elvin Mar, until oh, oh, oh. the next episode, three, three. ciao ciao. ciao.